I'm Peter Jenner. Uh, I'm a professor of pharmacology at King's College in London. And for several decades, I've been responsible for teaching and researching uh, neurodegenerative diseases. And I've done that with many generations of young scientists and medical students. When I teach young scientists and young medics about Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, what I do is in fact present a view which dif is different from what I really know. What I would classically do is to define these diseases, Parkinson's disease as a movement disorder, Alzheimer's disease as affecting cognition and causing dementia. I would address the, the major pathology of these diseases with Alzheimer's disease, perhaps representing degeneration in the hippocampus and the cortex and Parkinson's disease representing the loss of dopaminergic neurons in the basal ganglia. And I would then run through the views on pathogenesis or cause of these diseases, looking at things like uh, mitochondrial dysfunction, oxidative stress, changes in protein handling. And then I would get into what is the, the current trendy part of the neurodegenerative diseases. I would talk about the genetic causes of rare uh, inherited forms of Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. And then I would hone down on specific molecular mechanisms. And that's fine, but that's different from what I know in reality about these diseases. What I know in reality is that Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease are really complex, progressive neurodegenerative illnesses. And that the pathology of these diseases affects many different brain areas and it affects multiple neurotransmitter systems. And these are diseases that sweep through the nervous system, producing complex symptomatology that cannot be defined in a single category. These are also diseases that progress over years or decades and for long periods of time before any of the major symptomatology that characterizes these diseases starts to appear. They are also diseases that affect the function of both uh, the central and peripheral nervous system. And what is most noticeable is they present and progress in different ways in individual patients. So why do I present the classical view? I do that because that's the reality of the amount of time I'm given to teach about these different diseases. But for the future scientist and for the future clinician, I would say something completely different. What I would say is believe in nothing that you're told and nobody who tells you that information. That's because there is no certainty in what we understand about Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. And I would urge you not to look at the detail of these diseases. I would urge you to look at these diseases in their totality. Recognize the big picture of what these diseases bring to the lives of individual patients and families. And if you're a medic, look at the person sitting in front of you. See that person, see their own problems and see the problems of the people who care for that individual. Recognize the complexity of the disease process that you're looking at and understand the disease you are trying to treat or cure. Because if you don't understand that disease and you don't understand the individual with that disease, we won't be able to progress with treatment and cure in the way that we would like. And remember, every patient with Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease as an individual and what I would urge you to do as you progress through your career is to think outside the box. Now, I know what I think about Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. I believe they are complex, heterogeneous, neurodegenerative diseases that affect the quality of life of huge numbers of people on a global basis, and not only the people who suffer from these diseases, their families and friends. We don't understand fully what causes them. We don't know fully how to treat them. And we certainly don't know how to prevent the disease process. 
And what we need is a new generation of doctors and scientists to look at these diseases in a different way with new eyes and hopefully to discard the classical views of the past.